Hey you guys, CC here with a very exciting, crazy video because as you can see from the title, this is my yearly favorites. Yearly favorites. That means that it is the end of December and January is upon us and we have come to the close of another year. 2013 is out of here and 2014 is right on deck. I hope 2013 was all that you wanted it to be and 2014 is even better for you so I did want to start by saying that um, um, as most of you guys know I am nine months pregnant so I will have a little baby before the end of January and I just can't believe that this year went so fast and I am already at this time where I'm literally preparing daily for her arrival so I'm not going to get too much into that. If you guys want to see um, my vlogs, my pregnancy vlogs, I'll link them all down below. So you guys can check those out. But yeah, uh, yearly favorites time. So let's get started. I'm not going to ramble too much because this video is already going to be long. Okay, so last year when I did this video, I just grabbed random products that I know that I love throughout the entire year and showed them to you all. But this year I decided to do it a little differently and I grabbed my favorite high-end and drugstore product from a series of categories. So I chose face powders, eyeshadow palettes, single eyeshadows, foundations, stuff like that. And I grabbed my favorite high-end and my favorite drugstore. Now I didn't just go ahead and choose a a product just because I needed a high-end or a drugstore for that category. Some only have high-end products and some only have drugstore products because I really didn't have a favorite in the other area. So I just want to um, let you guys know that before we get started. But we will start with brows. Now for my brows, I have two tried and true favorites that I have been absolutely loving. One is more of a newer product that I just got in the beginning of November. And the other is um, a product that I've been using all year. And that one is my drugstore um, pick. And it is the Fabu Brow by Jordana in the color Dark Brown. I've showed this in I don't know how many videos this year. But it is just an amazing brow product. I've used it today. It makes my brows look so natural. It's such a great product and it's $2.99. You can get it from Walgreens, your local beauty supply store. I like to order mine off cherryculture.com and I just order a lot of them at a time so I don't run out. But I absolutely love this brow pencil. The next prop brow product is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And this is the product that I actually just got in the beginning of November. And I've been using it nonstop ever since. I mean, this is the most amazing brow product. My brows look so natural and it's so easy to use. It's just a nice, creamy, crayony pencil. And it gives the lightest little strokes here. And it just makes your hairs look so natural. Like it makes the, the pencil look like little hairs. So I absolutely love that and um, love this product. Next is my concealer. My favorite concealer of the year for blemishes. Now I only have one and it is a higher end pick. And it is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I use the color NW40. And you guys have seen this product a million times. It's a great industrial strength concealer and it just covers any blemishes that I have so easily. Next I have a highlighting concealer and for this I only have a drugstore product and this is the Rimmel Match Perfection. It's the two-in-one concealer and highlighter. I use the color light medium and I love to use it to conceal or to highlight I'm sorry underneath my eyes um, down the bridge of my nose chin, cupid's bow, and forehead, and it just works so well. I have two of these, actually, and I absolutely love this concealer, and it's so affordable. It's like five bucks. For foundations, I have two picks that, um, I don't know, that I've just been really, really loving this year. The first one is the MAC Match Master, and uh, this product came out... Was it this year or was it last year? I can't remember if it was this year or if it was the end of 2012. But it's not that old of a foundation. But it is just an amazing product. It leaves my face matte but not dry. And I love it. It has a great color range. And it's a really great product. This one is literally almost gone. So I'm going to need one soon. But 
love this foundation um if you have not tried max match master give it a try they are sure to have a shade for you the drugstore pick for my foundation is my Nearly Naked by Revlon. This is a foundation that they came out with last December or j this January and I have absolutely been loving it all year. This is my second bottle of this foundation and it just leaves you a really light covering it's a light covering foundation so it's something that I can use just to put on my face really quick and just even out my skin tone this is not that great for oily skin girls though which I am so you have to really be careful and make sure that you're using a mattifying product underneath um, that is one thing that I will say about this next I will go with face powders and the first face powder that I chose this is my high or my drugstore version and it's the NYX stay matte but not flat powder I've also featured this in I don't know how many favorites videos and I also have a full review on this product that I will link somewhere in this video and also down below so you can check that out if you have not this is an absolutely amazing powder and you can use it as just the foundation, which I have done before, or you can use it as a setting powder, which I mostly do. I love it to mattify my face on top of any foundation. I just think it looks great. It's not very cakey. And when I'm using it as a setting powder, I just get a big powder brush and dust it all over my face so it doesn't look so heavy. But if I want to use it as a powder foundation, I'll use a more dense brush and kind of pat it over my face. And it just looks so amazing. It gives you like a medium to even full coverage if you want to build it up and use it that way. But it's an amazing product. The next powder is my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. I got this in like February and I'm still using it. But I love this powder. I'm in the color 170, the same as my Makeup Forever HD foundation. And this, um, actually I feel like this NYX is a dupe for this Makeup Forever powder. They're both really amazing. You can use it as a foundation or as a setting powder, which again, I mostly use as a setting powder. And I just take a big fluffy brush and it really does set my makeup and keep me matte all day. So I love this. I'm going all over the place, but I don't even care. Um, next is eye primers. Now, I have two eye primers that you guys have seen in a million videos. The first one for my higher end pick is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Again, you guys have seen this a million times. This one is almost gone. Great primer. My eyeshadow stay on all day. No complaints about this. Then the other one is the e.l.f. e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. I featured this in a million videos and I use this all the time. And I feel like it's such a great dupe for the Urban Decay. And it's only 3 bucks. And again, my eyeshadow stay on all day. No complaints about either of these primers. I do have a single eyeshadow. I don't have a higher end pick for single eyeshadows. But... I do love my NYX Nude Matte Shadows for my drugstore pick. These are absolutely amazing quality shadows. Again, you've seen this in a million videos. I absolutely love these eyeshadows. I have three of them. This is my second of this color, and this is Dance the Tides, and it just makes for an amazing transition color. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today, and I love, love, love this color. Love it. And love the texture of these eyeshadows too. Keeping with the theme of eyes, I will go with eyeshadow palettes. And my drugstore pick for eyeshadow palettes is this Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. Now I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times. And you know that this palette is discontinued. So you will not find it in stores. However, I get mine off Amazon or eBay or or they have them on um, like beautyjoint.com. There's several websites that you can still get this palette off of. And it's a great six pan palette. I don't know why they would discontinue it. This is probably my absolute favorite Wet n Wild palette. But um, amazing. It has three matte shades and three shimmery shades. They're so pigmented. And you can even use this shade for your brows if you'd like. 
For my higher end pick, I chose my Lorac Pro Palette. This palette came out this year and has absolutely wowed everyone, I think. Um, it has the top row, which is all matte, and the bottom row, which is all shimmer. And the colors are just amazing. It's a neutral palette with a twist. The shadows are just so buttery and they don't have much fallout. And you get such an array of color. I mean... I love this palette and I use it all the time. Next I will go with bronzers. I have two picks for my bronzers and the first one, my drugstore pick, is something that again I've shared with you guys a million times. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in, what is this, Ticket to Brazil, number 739. First off, it's huge. It's $3.99, so four bucks and it's like this big ass pot right here. You get .46 ounces, so that's a lot of product. And as you can see, I use the crap out of it, but I absolutely love it. It's such a great bronzer, such a great natural looking bronzer. When I just want something to just warm up my face, I use this and I actually have a backup already. Love this product. For my higher end pick, I chose Max Blush in Blunt. This is another tried and true favorite. It's a great bronzer, a cooler tone bronzer. I love it for my skin tone and I just love the way it warms up my face and I also I use it mostly as a contour. So I love the way it contours my face. It's just the right amount of deep to give me that, that really contoured and pulled together look that I like. So I love this product. Next are blushes. I actually have three picks for blushes. I know this might be cheating, but so what? My drugstore um, pick is the Milani Baked Blush, and this one is in Luminoso. It is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite drugstore blush. This might be my favorite blush of all time honestly but I use this the most I love these Milani baked blushes I have pretty much every color in my collection and I mean they're just so pigmented and they're so beautiful they're like eight dollars so very affordable and you can find them pretty much at any drugstore then I have two higher end picks. The first one is more of a new product that I got at the beginning of November. And this is the Kat Von D blush in Heartogram. And it is, look at that color, the most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. And it's supposed to be a 12 hour blush or a 24 hour blush. I can't remember which one. I don't wear my blushes for that long anyway. But it just stays on all day. I don't never have to touch up my blush because it honestly just stays on my face. And the color is so pigmented and just so beautiful. Love these Kat Von D blushes and I'm going to have to go back and get more. Last blush pick is an obvious one. It is my NARS blush in Orgasm. This is just the most infamous blush ever. Everyone has this blush. If you have not tried this blush, give it a try. It looks great on every skin tone and it goes with any makeup look. Highlighter time. So I have two highlighters that I've been just loving over the last year. And the first one, my drugstore pick, is my Physician's Formula. It's the Mineral Glow Pearls in Translucent Pearl. And that is how it looks. It just has those pretty little translucent pearls in it and it gives the most gorgeous little glow there. I absolutely love this highlighter. It's about 10 or 11 dollars. You guys know Physicians Formula is one of the more pricey um, products at the drugstore or the more pricey brands at the drugstore but um, I think this product is actually worth it. Next is my Mary Luminizer by The Balm and they just have the most beautiful packaging. I absolutely love The Balm's packaging and they get an A for creativity but they also get an A for this amazing product. Just look at that pigmentation right there. Beautiful. I've even used this on my eyelids before. Love this highlighter and you can always find The Balm products on Hot Look and you can get them for like half off. I want to say I paid like nine bucks for this or something crazy so really great product and you can find it always at really great prices.
I have a setting powder for underneath my eyes and um, I only have one and it's the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I don't know if I should call this drugstore, I don't know if I should call this high end, I don't know what to call this because um, it is actually inexpensive enough to be a drugstore product but it works so well I consider it a high end product. But it works amazing under the eyes, doesn't cake up or break up underneath your eyes when you set your concealer with it absolutely great 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 product you can find it on a host of different websites just google it i love this product next i have a gel eyeliner and i only have one pick and it's a higher end version it is the mac fluid line in black track this is lasting me for so long and has not dried out or anything like that. It's almost gone now so I'm really sad. But next I'll be trying the Maybelline because I heard that was just a, an amazing pick and an amazing dupe for this. But I'm going to use this all up and then I'll go ahead and get the Maybelline. But I love this fluid line. It looks great on the eyes. Doesn't smudge. Stays on all day. Have no complaints. More eye products, I will go with eye bases this time. And the first one is the Maybelline Color Tattoo. And this is in the color Toughest Taupe. But I have pretty much every color and they're all amazing. These are great eye bases. I mean, you can, they stay on your eyes all day, honestly. I try to use these all the time before they dry out. Because you guys know these cream products like to dry out. But I've had this for so long and none of them have dried out on me yet. So Sometimes I have to work them in to get them going, but none of them have truly dried out on me yet, so I love that. And they make great, great eye bases for your eye looks. And they're inexpensive. For the higher end version, it's no surprise that I am going to choose my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I love this product. This one is actually almost gone as well, but um, love the Paint Pots. I mean, I use Painterly underneath pretty much all of my neutral looks it just makes for a great base gives the eyeshadow something extra to stick to and I love it I don't use it as a primer though I do still put a primer on my eyes and then the base but um, like I said it just gives it something extra to stick to love painterly finishing up with the eyes I have two more sets of eyeliners the first one is the is for liquid liner and my higher end pick is the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Absolutely love this eyeliner. It's in the color Perversion, so it's really black, really dark, and I love this eyeliner. I got it free in one of, in something that I bought from Urban Decay, and I haven't looked back since. Another great dupe for that though, this isn't a liquid but it's one of those like felt tip marker eyeliners and it's the super skinny eye marker in carbon black and it's by NYX or NYX and again very affordable this is like five bucks or so and this does a great job on your eyes. I actually lined my eyes with it today and it gives me really good precision because of the felt tip absolutely love the felt tip and it's very black and you just get really good control with it last eye category is um crayon liners and for my higher end pick another urban decay pick this is the 24 7 glide on eye pencil in zero i have about four of these because they give these out like candy but I love this. It's so black, so dark, and you really don't need to push hard on it. The pencils last you forever, and um, love them. Next is the Maybelline Master Drama by iStudio. These are great liners. I have this one in sapphire blue, and then I have one in gray. I have another one in black. So I love these eyeliners, and I think they're great dupes for the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencils. Just look how beautiful is that color, right? So gorgeous, and I'm obsessed with these as well. Now all I have left are lips. First I will go with my favorite lip balm and it is the Nivea Lip Butter. The Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss is the one I use and it just smells so good and I use it all the time. I like to use it when I'm doing my makeup before I put on my lip products just to moisturize my lips and make sure that they're not really dry or anything like that when I put on lipsticks. Next, I will go with lip liners. I have two drugstore picks. I only have one higher-end lip liner, and that is Max Night Moth. 
I do not have any other higher end lip liners. So I have two drugstore picks like I said and the first one is the NYX um, lip pencils and these are just so creamy these slim lip pencils and they're just they're great. This one is in Fuchsia. Great color payoff right there. I love these. They're like three bucks a piece. You can get them wherever you can find NYX products they'll sell these. Then I love the Jordana Easy Liners. These, again, you can find them wherever Jordana products are sold. And they are so, so creamy. They're more of that automatic pencil. They're not really a pencil pencil liner. So they just, you don't have to sharpen them. I love these liners. And these are like two bucks. So even more affordable. As far as lip glosses go, I have two picks. Both of them are from NYX, so both of them inexpensive picks. The first one are their NYX Butter Glosses that they came out with this year. These are amazingly creamy, and some of them you even get good pigmentation. This is my favorite. It's called Creme Brulee. There is really no pigmentation with this, but it just gives a nice glaze on the lips. Love these glosses. And then, of course, there's the tried and true favorites, the NYX Mega Shine lip glosses. These are what we all got hooked on from NYX, I think. And um, this one is in Sugar Pie, and this one's actually almost gone. But I absolutely love these lip glosses. Again, some of them have amazing pigmentation, but I love just the nude ones. Last category. Woo! Last category would be lipsticks. I have two drugstore picks and one higher end pick. And to go with the higher end pick, of course, it is my MAC lipstick in, if I can get these to stop rolling, my MAC lipstick in Ruby, I'm sorry, Riri Woo. This has been a favorite of mine since it came out in June. I have two of these. I had to get a backup, of course, but this is just an amazing lip color. It's definitely been my favorite of the year. It's the one that I have been using the most. And I think I said it came out in June. I believe this came out in May, I want to say, but whatever. You guys get it. The next two picks are... One from Revlon, and this one is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Nude Attitude. My absolute favorite color. This is like my second or third tube of this. I love this nude. It's just like your perfect peachy nude, if you guys can see that. It's really pretty on my lips. I use a brown skin toned lip liner underneath just to kind of blend it so it doesn't look so ashy. And these lipsticks are amazing, these super lustrous lipsticks. I have pretty much all of them. Love them to death. And this one is in matte. They also come in different formulations as well. Last lipstick is one that I've talked about a million, trillion, gazillion different times. And these are my Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks. These cost $1.99 at the drugstores. And this one is in Sugar Plum Fairy 908C. My absolute favorite color from the line. And I wear this all year round, honey. I don't care. Summer, winter, spring, fall. I could care less. It's such a rich pigmented pretty 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 color I just absolutely love this lipstick and these are they're not very drying they're so moisturizing but they last they literally last on your lips so love these little lipsticks alright you guys so that is my entire yearly makeup favorites I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you and you got to see the products that I love and that I have been using all year and that will continue to carry on and I will be using in 2014. This is going to be one of my last videos of 2013. I'm not sure if it's going to be the absolute last, but it's going to be one of my last. So um, if it is the last, I will see you guys in 2014. I have so much stuff coming up for you all. If it is not the last, then um, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> so don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.